Hey there! Pen user. Let's have a chat about this pen that Yoast of Applebone Pen and lent to me. It's an expensive pen, so I'm going to say straight away, if you click the banner on my website, you can get a 10% discount. And don't wait too long, because they are limited. This is the Scribo La Dotta Domus. I'll talk about what that means in the next part of the video. But for now, basically a Scribo feel with uh, grooves cut into it. I'll explain what those mean. And this one is particularly nice because it has a triple broad nib, which is a not inexpensive upgrade at 120 euros, but this is quite a writer. And if you're like me and you like broad nibs, this one's fun, I will say that. So, a special limited edition Scribo, basically a feel, but a little different. Nice nib. Let's talk about what the pen is all about. So I'll cover the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the Scribo I have here. Um, I'll first show you the box and then I'll talk a little bit more about that particular pen. Uh, the box is quite nice. I do really like this, uh, this color. It has a little cardboard outer sleeve. Then it has this box, which I thought was magnetic. Yes, it was. I was just pulling it the wrong end. Uh, and then you get some goodies in it. This, oh, that was in there very, very tightly. Um, interesting smell. It smells like army surplus store. If you know, you know. Okay, uh, has this whole booklet in it, in Italian and English on the other side, use and maintenance, etc. And then a warranty card in this little sleeve. And then we have this nice um, case. These cases, I think, are really uh, quite nice. Uh, I wanted to say it was canvas, but now I'm suddenly wondering if it's something else. Um, the canvas might explain the used army store. Uh, what is it? The army surplus store, though. It comes with a little polishing cloth, which I think is very nice. And the nice thing about these, I think, is that you buy one and then you get two pen slots. So you can put in one pen, but then you can also put in another pen. But if you buy another one of these, then you get two of these, and then you need four of them. So that's a never-ending uh, loop. But having said that, you may already own a pen. It doesn't have to be a Scribo. You can put other pens than Scribo in these pen cases. It is allowed. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Okay, enough of my uh, useless uh, rant. Let's continue with the pen. So what do we have here? We have the uh, Scribo La Dotta Domus. These are not cheap, 561 euros 98 cents. That is without the VAT, but remember you can get a 10% discount at Applebaum uh, by clicking the banner on my website. These come in a host of nib options. There is an 18K extra, extra fine, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and then triple broad and stub. The extra, extra fine is $60 extra, sorry, 60 euros extra. The triple broad and stubs are 120 euros extra, so that makes this pen quite expensive because it has the triple broad nib. And then in 14K, you can get fine, sorry, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. This is a special version of the Scribo feel. You can see those grooves on it. It is a hand milled texture based on the porticos of Bologna. Now, the story of this is that since the year 1088. Students have been attracted to the porticos that were provided to them uh, a domus, so a home. So people, what they would do to house students in Bologna, I have not been to Bologna, but it's on my list, is basically extend their upper floors with balconies supported by wooden beams. And um, those old wooden beams would have this sort of texture which I think is certainly quite nice. Uh, it is a limited edition pen. There are 219 uh, of these. And um, I think that's pretty much it as to the background. I've talked to you about the nibs and the pen. Let's have a look at the pen itself. So here we have the pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan. It's a larger pen and I've always kind of enjoyed this. I'm sorry, I just smacked my 
uh, tripod I've kind of liked this bulbous shape of the boom boom I like that top of the pen you have the Scribble logo the little quill um, which actually historically is incorrect the uh, uh, fletching so the little hairs were taken off a quill to write with it but if you would do this then the logo would just be a stick so that you know this makes sense we have the clip the clip is nice and springy then we have this um, center band I have the feeling this is ruthenium coated because it looks quite dark but it it's hard for me to tell I'm sorry uh, we have the center band that says scribo on one side and feel the writing on the other side and then here we have the piston turning knob because this is actually a piston filled pen it has ink in it so I'll be very careful with that the cap unscrews about I think one and a quarter yeah well good a little over just one turn actually does the trick then we have this wonderful nib uh, which says feel the writing scribo 18k750 and look at that tipping <laughs> look at look at this man <laughs> look, look at the difference <laughs> oh there's so much tipping in this triple broad and then we have a uh, an ebonite feed and as you can see this section there is quite a step down but that's what the feel models are like you have the threads there which are not particularly sharp but then you have these grooves and those grooves uh, I, I will say you do feel I like to think I don't have the world's most sensitive hands um, but the grooves are certainly present as you write with it uh, and you feel it a bit on the back of your hand as well because these are pretty substantial grooves and that might be a deal breaker for some people hence me pointing it out where is my writing pad no nope, other way around this was the goat video here we go let's see if we can write with this scribo and fair warning the nib sings I don't know how much it will do that on this paper but you're going to hear some interesting sounds La Dotta Domus. We have an 18K B, 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 and we have Waterman Serenity Blue as the ink. I love it so much I want I kind of want to take this pen to meetings to write with it and distract everyone with the squeaky sound I know that some people are driven absolutely insane by that singing I kind of like it uh, but it's it's not for everyone uh, this is a massively broad nib I, I really uh, here I just happen to have a brother's grim uh, Mont Blanc with the same ink this is a medium nib uh, and then and then it will be review too of course and then and then look at this and and that's like this is no pressure either like this is how it writes it's delicious but you really have to like a good broad nib um let's do some fast writing <laughs> i love it so much that's uh, so weird though um, it's like writing with a sharpie and it sounds that way too uh, okay so yeah we have some substantial line variation in a nib this broad you typically get something that is almost um, stub like and as you can see it is the the these lines are much thinner than these and this is not pressure this is just how it comes out I think it is an absolutely stellar nib I love using it uh, it's also on the softer end of things so you can squeeze out a little bit more line variation not that you really needed it 
um, but I, I think it's lovely. Now, as to reverse writing, nothing really changes because it's such a block of tipping, it just, nothing really changes. Um, all I can say is pizzazz. This is a serious, serious nib. And um, I may have to negotiate something with Yoast here because I, I'm not sure the pen is my absolute favorite of all time with the grooves, but this nib, that's something. Anyway, um, maybe when I mail it back to Yoast, it just disappears in the mail. <laughs> Uh, no, obviously I would send it back. <clears throat> now let's um, let's talk about likes and dislikes of this delicious piece of work. What do I like and what do I not like about the Scribo La Dotta Domus? Limited edition can be fun, is collectible. I also think this is pretty truly limited. Two hundred and nineteen pence. That's not a lot. I just looked at the um, Mont Blanc. Uh, um, the uh, writer's edition Brothers Grimm. Uh, it is a limited edition of 9,800 pence. That doesn't sound particularly limited to me, but you know, who am I? 219, I think that's a limited edition. Uh, and the pen ticks a lot of boxes. 18 karat nib, piston filled pen, fun design, fantastic writer, but I'll come back to that. I think it's quite nice. It is by no means cheap. 561 euros, and that's just the pen. This pen is more expensive because it has the 120 euro nib upgrade of the triple broad nib. So it's very expensive, it is a limited edition, and to me the best part is it's just tremendous fun to use. That triple broad nib is a treat. If you like broad nibs, this is actually triple broad. Uh, you've seen the writing sample, so you know what I'm talking about. I like that. I like the history. I like that the pen company tried to capture the history of Bologna, especially the students, the, the oldest university in Europe, right, in Bologna. And as an academic, that kind of appeals to me. I also like the idea of the, the, the wood beams being captured in that pen. I think it's nice. This turns it into more of a conversation piece, and I think that is, that is really, really nice. Um, it's also a hand milled texture, right? So I mean that that would add to the price a bit. Beautiful, beautiful writer, fantastic, solid, really broad nib. This triple broad, I think that is really nice, and that would certainly be worth the price to me uh, to get something that that broad and and juicy. Having said that, slipping into the uh, downsides, it is very noisy. Now I did use another. Uh, triple broad uh, Scribo at some point and it certainly was not that noisy it might be this particular nib some people love singing nibs other people hate singing nibs and I, I posted a short video on Instagram and, and the opinions were beautifully divided of people who love that sound and people who absolutely hate it uh, so be a little aware of that often nib meisters can help with the issue of singing nibs but if you really don't want that, maybe don't buy this as a triple broad. Um, the final thing I will say, it's a beautiful writer, I, I love it. Uh, I think the feel model is very nice. I, I will say there is a bit of a step down here, uh, which is quite pronounced. The threads, I don't find them sharp, but the step down, uh, well, that certainly is. The biggest issue for me is the grooves and that, that, that pattern they, they milled into barrel cap and even the section, right, it's not for everyone. I don't think I have the world's most sensitive hands, but if I, if I kind of push my finger into it as I roll, I feel the edges and holding it puts people off. I've given it to a couple of people to try, Pelican Hub was last night. And their two opinions vary. People like it, but people do say, yeah, those grooves are, are something. I wonder if it would have been wise to not put those grooves on the section and leave that as is. Because if you have sensitive hands, you will really feel that. And it could certainly, I think, put you off the whole pen. So this might be a pen that if you have an opportunity, try it out, which may not be very easy given that it's limited, not everyone has access to pen stores, but this really might be one you want to hold in hand before you purchase, or at least check what the return policy of the company where you buy it is. 
Okay, I hope that is helpful and useful. A very kind thank you to Joost Appelbaum for lending me the pen. It'll come back to you as soon as possible, although it will be listed on the website. Actually, it will be listed on my website for sale because that's how we do things. Um, check it out. And let me know what you think, if you think the grooves would bother you or not. I would find that interesting to read. That's all, let's do it. Hope this was useful. I'm glad to see you later. Bye.